What is going on everybody? I am here with some more Modern Warfare Remastered. Last time we successfully destroyed the missiles and now it's the KF uh, also escaped again. But then in this episode we are still on the chase for the KF while at the same time trying to escape a, 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 a platoon full of... Yeah, a patrol full of enemies. Trying to get these headshots. I'm trying to shoot through the. Oh my God, it's it's hard to control. Where? I don't see it. Ouch. What do you think I'm doing? But you guys are swerving everywhere. Ouch. Okay. Died in the first minute of, of this episode. Okay, I'm not going to die as soon as I respawn. Okay, I did. Okay, finally I got it. Was that guy swerving everywhere so I could get the hit? Too far. Oh, not even close. I missed it. Well, I don't have any. I don't have any more RPG ammo. Uh, hurry up, man. We gotta move. We gotta move. This is not good. Just pick him out.
Okay, so we gotta hold off for three minutes. Okay, that ruined the moment. was received from the ultra-nationalist party, where rumors of a possible leadership struggle have just begun to surface. In other news, the search for a ship lost in the Bering Strait due to a major storm has been called off. Win the war. Is that the uh, head of the uh, of Infinity War just talking in the background? So that is Modern Warfare Remastered. Still one of the best, to me in my opinion, still. One of the best Modern Warfares. Now, I, like I said, I never really played the original, even though um, my, my cousin a while back ago had the game, but it was only on... He had it on, uh, on the PlayStation. Well, at the time I had, at the time I, I had an Xbox. So, and it was still one of the time where I wasn't able to get first, like, you know, shooter games because of stupid GameStop's policy of not, uh, of, of not, uh, not able to, well, not able, well, not able uh, people under 18 to buy rated, rated and for mature games. And I believe this model was, I think, 
Modern War well, I think any Call of Duty now. I think it's... I believe it's uh, rated M, if I'm not mistaken. I think it is. That, that is that's rated M, so and I'm not too sure about that. But it was still around that time where I wasn't able to purchase that. So, oops. I should have gotten it. I should have gotten it uh, when I turned 18. And then played the original Modern Warfare. I should have done that, but... I don't know, I guess I didn't think, well, that was because at the time I was broke and had no money, even though this game was probably very cheap, like a couple dollars. I think I saw it in GameStop the other time, where it was like, like, around $10, like, like less than $10, I believe. But anyway, I'm going a little bit off track. It was still, a, the remastered version is still a great game. The remastered version of the campaign is still a great game. Now, we're praying, of course, there, there are rumors of a remastered version of Modern Warfare 2. And the, yeah, the, yeah, still, yeah, rumors about it that we're not too sure. And then I've been, then I've been seeing, model, uh, a remastered version of Modern Warfare 2 has been canceled and not canceled and has then has been pushed for a little bit and then but it stayed. Then they say confirmed canceled, but then it says nah. It's a little bit of a back and forth type thing with uh, with a remastered of Modern Warfare of Modern Warfare 2. Either they should remaster it or backwards compatible Modern, War uh, Modern Warfare 2, but I think the best decision if they do plan on doing it is is uh, Do a remastered version of Modern Warfare 2 that if they're planning on going if, if, if they are planning on uh, On doing that the best decision is to just uh, remaster it But not but not uh, Having it released with a new Call of Duty, if it, when Infinity War does it, I believe Infinity War this year is is releasing a new Call of Duty game, but it hasn't been uh, released yet. We'll probably will be seeing some trailers of the next of the new Call of Duty game, probably by I think by April around that time, April or March. But we'll be seeing a, a new trailer. No, actually, no. I think I'm mistaken. I think it's um, Treyarch. I think Treyarch is is this is uh, Treyarch's year of releasing a new uh, Call of Duty, and I believe Infinity Ward is next year. So either they will, either Infinity Ward will will release either backwards compatible or remaster uh, Modern Warfare this year, or probably next year. They will do it because their development cycle doesn't start until. It, um, it's not until next year, or, or later on, late this year. So. Anyway, uh, Modern Warfare 2, uh, Modern Warfare Master, great game. Highly recommend it. it, it and uh, like I said, it's available on, it's it's available standalone on digital, uh, on on PC, uh, PlayStation, and Microsoft, which, which they finally you know released it as a standalone game and not. Uh, not as uh, another game with uh, with Infinity Warfare. So, so finally, got they they should have done that before. But of course, it's a stupid decision upon them. So anyway, can we skip to hold it? Yeah. The, well, before we actually do that, yeah, there's not really else to say about Infinity uh, the campaign. Yeah, nothing really else besides, like I said, just a remastered version or a huge HD version. Yeah, just a remastered version of it. With a little small things here and there. With, uh, well, with like I said, the uh, the hidden achievement, the time paradox where you, uh, where you, sh where you shoot Sakaev and kill Makarov. Uh, as I said, is only on the remastered version of Modern Warfare, not in the original version, obviously. So... But that's the only small thing. The small there's other couple small things here and there that I've noticed, but all of them, all other than that, not really has much. Not, yeah, not really much has changed with the campaign. But the multiplayer actually, which we'll be getting into, has changed a lot. So that's what we're gonna be going off to. I'm pressing A. I gotta hold it. Okay. We're going deep. And we're going hard. Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley.
And now we're getting to the after game. Ouch. Yep. Yeah, now we're getting to the after game, which is... I forgot what this is called. Oh, the, the, the Mile High Club. This is a... Bonus. This is a... This is a, a bonus mission you could do only after when you beat the main, the main campaign. So that's what we're going to be doing. God damn it. There's so many fires. There's so many... Uh, People firing at the same time that I can't. Free. I'm probably not going to be finishing the mission at the at the exact same time. That's not good. Now the Mile High Club, as I said, it is just an extra uh, mission that you can do after when completing the main campaign. Come on, we got less than we got less than twenty seconds left. Heartbreakers and life takers. Thanks for playing. Simplify. And then we see the group there. We got Soap, Grig, Skaz, and I forgot the other one. Yeah. Quit to the main menu. Now that was a very short mission. A uh, very short, uh, yeah, uh, bonus mission that you can actually do. Now there is an achievement to actually... Congratulations, you unlock the arcade mode and cheats. And you can now activate cheats for the campaign from the main menu or in the main game. Pause menu, attack, okay, more than that, now available in the main menu. Yes, okay. Yeah, uh, as soon as you also, when you defeat the main campaign, there is also an okay mode. Complete missions as fast as possible to earn points and climb up the leaderboards. Now, it is another optional thing you can actually do, but uh, I think, I'll, uh, yeah, but I'm not going to have time to be going over that. I'll be going over that in the next episode. But also, before I actually end the episode off here, uh, uh, in the optional mission, no, it, yeah, in the uh, bonus mission, there is an achievement you can actually get that is super difficult. Now you have to, if you want to get the achievement, well, if you are an achievement hunter, and you, and yeah, if you're an achievement hunter, uh, this uh, this achievement is actually super difficult, and you have to defeat the mile high, uh, the, you have to defeat the mile high club on veteran. While at the same time, uh, not one at a time. And that is super difficult. Only a few people have, have done it. Uh, only a few people, yeah. Only a few people have, have, have actually got this achievement on, on the veteran version. And and, uh, while, not, and while not having uh, time run out. Now, if you do have the... Now, if time has run out, uh, obviously you do have to do it all over again. So... 
Oh, I think oh, I think uh, uh, you can still continue the mission, but I think you won't get the achievement for it if you uh, do it on veteran. That I'm not too sure. No, no, wait. It's the mission select. Yeah, the Mile High Club. Undisclosed operation. We we'll never know here. We were never here. Huh. So yeah, and here and here are the uh, intel's. Uh, Cardinal, collect pieces of intel. Okay. For outhouse feel, reprints not available. War has never been so contracted. Activates secret protocol ragtime warfare. Throw a fag grenade and enjoy the show. <laughs> yes. Uh, now I don't. I'm not too sure if this was on the original version. If I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I could, I don't know. I'll have to check up on that. But uh, in the campaign, if you were collecting some of the intels or you accidentally ran up into, uh, into some intels and collected it, uh, the it's, the achievements actually unlock cheats. Now, the more cheats, now, now the more intel you find, the achievements, uh, more of the cheat, more of a uh, cheats uh, you you'll be able to unlock. Now, of course, you have to find, okay, here it says to find 12 pieces of enemy intel to unlock this one. Of course, then there's 15, 18, 20, 22, and 27, and 30. So, there are in total of 30 intels you have to get. Now, like I said, the more intel you collect, the more cheats you'll be able to unlock uh, only for the campaign. So, uh, you can collect as, as much intel as you want and then have a little fun with it. So, that's actually, I find it to be uh, pretty cool, but... There is no actually what well, this this does add a little bit of replayability into the single player campaign, but uh, uh, but not, uh, I wouldn't say. But that's that's only if if you want to uh, play play the campaign on high high on higher difficulties, but I'm not too sure if cheats are enabled on higher difficulties. That I'm not too sure. I guess because because uh, it's not saying uh, that cheats are not available uh, are not uh, enabled on harder difficulties, so I'm guessing uh, you could unlock these cheats on the higher difficulties, but I never actually tried that. Maybe I'll try. Maybe I'll do it on my off time, or maybe I'll uh, I'll stream. Uh, Modern Warfare Remastered again, the campaign, and then we'll see. Collect collect some of the intel, and I'll do it. But for now, I'm not going to do it. Either I'll stream it or I'll do it on my own time. I'll play the campaign again on my own time and then, and then we'll see. Uh, uh, what are the extra cheats? So we're going to see that. Okay, so now since there's... Uh, now since we've actually completed the campaign, I'm going to end the episode off here. So next time, well, I hope. Well, one thing, I hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. I certainly did. It was a, it was a good way to actually uh, get a fresh reminder of the Modern Warfare, uh, the first Modern Warfare campaign, and then uh, maybe, maybe later on in the future, I'll do Modern Warfare Two camp. I'll do the Modern Warfare Two campaign, and uh, get a fresh reminder of 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 that also. So I hope you guys enjoyed the campaign. There's still uh, quite a few things more that we need to do before we actually end off the series. Like also show the arcade mode and the multiplayer. Because the multiplayer in Modern Warfare Remastered has changed a lot. And there's a lot to go, and there's a lot to go over that I'm not going to have time to do in this episode. Because it's going to be quite a lot. So I'm going to end the episode off here. So next time on Modern Warfare Remastered, we're going to be continuing on and explore arcade mode and go over the multiplayer until next time